Hello everybody, Tiffany Solorio here. I am going to be playing around with the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. I uh, was sent these products from uh, Tonic Studios, but I do want to say that opinions and everything that I share in this video is my own opinion. I do truly love this product. There is so many different uses for uh, these Nouveau embellishments and so many different ways you can use them. And that's why I love them because I love getting products that uh, you can use in multiple different ways. I do a lot of mixed media projects, so I like having the same colors for the different layers that I uh, build upon uh, my projects. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. The first way I'm going to show you how to use the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse is to create your own spray. So I have this spray bottle from Atonic Studios and I added a little bit of water and then I'm going to add a generous amount of the Embellishment Mousse to the bottle and then you're going to shake it up really, really well. Uh, this color is really light so it does not, you know, it's not going to show up really dark when you spray it. But the darker the color, obviously if you use black or the navy blue, then it's going to be uh, darker on your project. So I really love using sprays on my project. And um, I love that you can use these and make your own sprays. You can use any spray bottle to create your sprays. I just had one of the Tonic Studios uh, on hand. So the second way I'm going to share with you is using it with a spatula or a palette knife and using it with a stencil. So this is a Tonic Studio stencil and you can see that it spreads really really nicely and you can control um, how much you want on um, your project. So some areas I am putting it on thicker and other areas I am going a little thinner. And you could see here it spreads really nicely just as is if you want some texture. It is really, really creamy and the more you work with it, I think the more it spreads nicely. Uh, but you could see here that I'm gonna pounce on my palette knife and then it holds its shape really, really well. So you can create some really cool, unique texture that way too. So the next way I'm going to share with you is how you can use the mousse to color embellishments. So this is a uh, resin frame from Prima and I just happen to have it on my desk. That's why I'm using it. And first I was going to use my finger, but then I remembered I had the, um, the Nouveau brush and this is super cool. It's really thick bristles and I am going in a circular motion to get in all of those um, crevices. You could see it's a little intricate in a couple areas. So you wanna make sure to work all of that mousse in. And you could see that I am just going over the whole frame and then the sides as well. So really, really cool that you can do this. It's not as concentrated color as, you know, if you were just to put it on the paper, you know, like as I showed before, using it as um, with a stencil, but it's still a neat way to create unique embellishments. So I pulled out a darker color just so I can highlight some of those raised areas and just some of the different texture on, uh, on the frame. You can create really cool embellishments this way and it just looks really, really neat. You can also play around with the different surfaces, which would be really cool too. So I'm just going to show you a little up close. You could see there. The next way to use these Nouveau embellishment mousses is probably my favorite. I love that you can watercolor with these and I love that there's just a little bit of shine to them and you can create really cool projects. I just have some regular cardstock here and I'm going back and forth between the color that's watered down on the mat and then uh, some color, the darker color and then the lighter color. And I'm just playing around just to show you that you can use them as watercolors. This is, like I said, it's not, you know, any special watercolor paper or anything. So you're not going to get a really cool watercolor effect. I just wanted to show you guys that you can use them as watercolors. So I use the paintbrush to splatter on some of the color too. So really cool techniques. I do a lot of mixed media, so splattering is probably one of my favorite techniques. 
The last one is you can use your finger to blend them. So uh, I again just have some regular cardstock and I'm going to show you that you can kind of blend them together. Uh, this would be really cool if you did emboss resist kind of image and blended a few of the colors together. I think that would be really cool. So that completes the short little video. I hope you guys try the Nouveau embellishment mousse out. Really cool. And be sure to check out my channel. I will have a link down below. I have um, some videos on how I use some of these products over there as well. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye.